Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and welcome to a new episode of Health from Huda TV. Diabetes is on its own a problem. I know that most of the pa patients who do have diabetes know this fact as well, and, and their relatives do know this fact as well. But the problem of diabetes with the eye is to be considered as one of the major problems that diabetes would uh, affect have effects on them, on the uh, eyes. And uh, of course, the eyes are very precious. And when diabetes do have effect on the eye, uh, we are in a serious problem. With us today is Dr. Tamil Fahmi, consultant of ophthalmology, Ain Shams University, Cairo, Egypt, to talk to us about what does diabetes do to the eye. Dr. Tamil, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you for the invitation. Um, diabetes. I know that when we have uh, somebody has diabetes, the, they do expect to have some uh, complications, some problems, and one of the very major things that they should take care, care of are their eyes not to be um, uh, one of those complicated areas with the diabetes. So to jump to the complications, what does diabetes do to our eyes? At the first, diabetes is a very common disease. Yes. And in Egypt, it represents about 10% of the population have diabetes. The problem with diabetes is the uncontrolled diabetes. We have a different complications. We affect a different st structures in the eye. Yes. Maybe the first one is the lead. And yeah, the patient may complain severe ocular pain and severe pain inside the eye. Uh -huh. And as we see now in this picture, we can see the, the lead is inflamed. It's mm -hmm. a red. Mm -hmm. And start to 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 what's called the flame to hap what's uh, what's happened. It's uh, what's occur is the sty. And this sty is an abscess, abscess inside the lid. It's, it's it's associated with severe throbbing pain. Yes. And the patient is is in in pain. He cannot tolerate. Yes. And this pain will never will never stop unless the patient the the diabetes is controlled, and unless is it treated well according to the ophthalmologist. Yes. So it happens over and over again. When you clean it, it just comes back again if you do not uh, control the diabetes. Yes, it may recur at any time and recur a different site inside the lid. Yes. And sometimes not the abscess will happen. Maybe happen what is called is chalazium. Is chalazium just inflammation inside the gland inside the lid. We have a certain gland inside the lid is called myoglobin gland. It's a lipid yes. gland. Yes. Just it produce what is called a lipid material. Uh -huh. responsible for the tear film uh, stability yes and this is the gland when is obstructed when this happened with the diabetes mm -hmm. just inflamed the swollen like the swelling like this and it's called what is heaviness as we may as we see in this picture heaviness and the eye will start to collude this patient will never just have a bead unless is infected mm -hmm. unless inflamed Yes, that's quite scary, actually, to our viewers. But uh, what do we do when we get that? Just only you have to ask patient to treat the diabetes and control diabetes. This is the first thing. And we yes. start with him with the medications. Some antibiotics It's given for him as like topical eye drops and ointment. Yes. And we send about one week. Most of the cases will be resolved unless the patient neglect this situation for about one month. Yes. And this situation, we, ha we have to interfere by surgical. Mm -hmm. You have to open this? Yes. But it's open from the inside. From the inside. Yeah. So it wouldn't show up for the, uh, for the, uh, for the skin or skin scar? No, never. Never. No. Because we, have, we, we open it from the inside, inside the, the, the eyelid from the inside, what's called the conjunctival. Yes. So uh, if we go a little bit further than the eyelids into uh, a deeper layer of the eye, what would it do? If we go more deeper to yes. this, we have what's called the lens. Yes. Yeah. And the lens, it is a very important structure, as we see in this picture. Mm -hmm. The lens, it is structure is present in the middle of the eye, responsible for the focus of the image to fall in the, re the retina, especially on the macula. Yes. This is the lens is completely clear, mm -hmm. and it's very transparent. But what's happened in diabetes, some opacity happened inside the lens, and it produced what is called the cataract. And if we see the picture, in the first one, the image is clear. Mm -hmm. But when the cataract happens, the light will be scattered and the image will be blurred. Yes, and exactly. the patient will be start to suffering from something like this. Uh -huh. And this, 
just happened, the cataracts already is happening for the old patients above 50. But if you have the diabetes, may occur more earlier than this and may happen at the 40 years old. Oh, so uh, that could start as early as 40 years. Uh, yes. If, if the diabetes is not that not controlled. controlled. So uh, what does it, uh, what does it have to do? What do, we, what do you have to do for the cataract? Uh, once we have a cataract, we have to remove it. You have to take it Yes. Out take yes. it off that's why we have to do cataract surgery yes. but now and then the, the approach for the cataract surgery is become more advanced yes. uh, in the previous we do open surgery nowadays we do just what's called the FACO just mm -hmm. very small incisions through which we can go to aspirate this lens and we can introduce and in inject what is called our plant what is called the intraocular lens you should replace the normal crystalline lens and the patient can see very well after that but shouldn't we worry when the patient has reached to cataract w at the age of 40, this means that the diabetes is not really controlled? Yes. That if we do an operation, uh, the failure rate or the complications rate from the, from the operation will be higher than the usual uh, cases? Of course. But we have, uh, we'll never operate the patient unless he controls diabetes. Yes. We'll never go to so the OR <laughs> unless he controls diabetes. Yes. So it takes us to the square zero. You have to control the diabetes yes, yes. all the time. No, we cannot interfere unless the patient is controlled diabetes. Yes. Uh, one of the, uh, the common uh, problems that would happen uh, that I personally know some people have developed with diabetes is the, uh, the glaucoma. So yes. What is, what is the glaucoma? The glaucoma is a triad between three things would happen inside the eye. Mm -hmm. The first one increased what is called the intraocular pressure. The eye, like a ball, is mm. filled with the fluid. This the fluid is maintained in certain pressure. Mm -hmm. It's variable from the person to the person. It's mm -hmm. ranging between 15 to 21. Okay? Yes. But sometimes, this pressure will increase and become above 21. Mm -hmm. At the same time, the second point of the triad is the optic nerve, which is a very important structure. Is collect the data from the retina, mm -hmm. is which is the very thin part and we'll discuss later mm -hmm. uh, this part is responsible to transmit the image from the retina to the brain and when the intraocular pressure is increased to the level that may damage this the optic nerve the patient start to lose the vision and this is the third point of the triad the patient start to lose the vision and the visual field is start yeah. to be constricted so the glaucoma to be diagnosed we have the three still important uh, factors what must be happen mm -hmm. high intraocular pressure mm -hmm. optic nerve damage mm -hmm. and even visual field affection so uh, apparently it's, it's a serious disease if it yes. develops so um, how do you manage this problem uh, the management is so easy but if you discover it early because the problem what we have the optic nerve is very cr is a very important section from the brain yes. and once it's damaged we cannot you replace cannot it. it again, yes. So we try to preserve the optic nerve as much as we can. Mm -hmm. So once we have intraocular pressure is high, we give him the medication to reduce the intraocular pressure. How, how would somebody know that the intraocular pressure is high? If it's I'm sorry, in the glaucoma, most of the cases are symptomatic. And it is yeah, and discover accidentally when the patient complain just c coming to the clinic to change his uh, glasses, uh -huh. or maybe have any other problems, and accidentally we discover high intraocular pressure and optic nerve is suffering from this. Or maybe the end stage when the patient lose the vision or the patient have very, very contracted field. That's at this stage, the patient will come and ask for the uh, for consultation. So there is nothing in between that would I'm warn sorry. the patient? No. This uh, something is very vague, like headache, uh -huh. sometimes uh, intolerance to the light. Maybe uh, he can not see you very well in the dark. But this is the problem. <laughs> All of us have the same complaint. Yes. And the different uh, uh, problem, or the different disease have the headaches. May you do a headache like the hypertension, maybe a change of the refraction, maybe even toothache. All of them have the headaches. So there is no specific symptoms for the glaucoma. Unless the end stage would start to happen severe headache to the, with the red eye and associated with vomiting. In this stage, we, we have to make to focus on the eye. Yes, and you have to interfere as, as, yes. as soon as possible. Yes. So, yes. so somebody with diabetes, we have to give them the message that you have to go to the ophthalmologist, and you have to. Of course, you, you wouldn't be able, you wouldn't be needing to ask them to, to to measure the pressure. Just tell them that you're diabetic, 
and your ophthalmologist would surely do the measurement of the intraocular pressure. The routine will be done for the every patient, yes. even if he is diabetic or non diabetic, in okay. order to check the, the intraocular pressure. Exactly. So when s when when you diagnose somebody with glaucoma, what do you what do you do for them? Uh, either it's in the end stage. No, 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 no. Or no. in the uh, on the early stage. Some of the cases we come uh, we discover them very early, and yes. just we give him the medication. This is uh, the medication. The glaucoma, it is the as we mentioned the high intraocular pressure. It is the is the balance between equus production, uh, the fluid inside the eye it produced, and the equus drainage. Mm -hmm. Okay, if the equus production is increased beyond the drainage, then the intraocular pressure will be increased. So we'll give him some medication to reduce this production, so that the balance will flame back to the normal. Yes. Or give him a medication help the drainage to be faster, mm -hmm. and this will be help the intraocular pressure to reduce. Yes. If this failed the medication, we uh -huh. have to shift to the surgery. Uh -huh. And the surgery, it is a different, different modalities of the surgery you can give him to the patient, but whatever it is, uh, we in, induce or initiate another subway, different pathways than the normal equus drainage to help the drainage of the equus or maybe facilitate the equus drainage. All right, so you decrease the pressure by just letting the, the fluid go out. Yes, okay. yes. So we have a short break right now, but after we come, you'll be telling us more about what the diabetes does to the eye. Brothers and sisters, we'll be just going out for a short break, and please don't go away. We'll be talking more about diabetes and the eye. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum, and we're back and we're still talking about the effect of diabetes on the eye. With us is Dr. Tamil Fahmi, consultant of ophthalmology at Shams University, Cairo, Egypt. Dr. Tamil, we've talked about parts of the eyes and what does the diabetes do to them. And uh, of course, uh, some of them are really serious uh, complications that would should worry the, uh, the people with diabetes to take care of their uh, diabetes. It's on its own first and to take care of their eyes. If they have any, even the slightest symptoms, they should consult the ophthalmologist or even they should consult the ophthalmologist without having complications. They should yes. not wait to the... To we the hope that. We hope that. Exactly. So before, before we continue with the complications of diabetes uh, on the eye or the effect of diabetes on the eye, I want you to tell us why does the uh, diabetes on its own as a disease affect our tissues like this? and lead to complications. As you know, the diabetes is uncontrolled or the diabetes have a high glucose level inside the blood. Yes. And once we have a high glucose level, that means the cells will suffering from the defect in the glucose to, in to go inside the cells mm -hmm. to be used. Yes. So the metabolism inside the cells will be affected uh -huh. and will be impaired. Mm -hmm. This, the metabolism is very critical for different structures, for healing, this will be affected. For that's why the patient, or diabetic patient, will have a, a wound even the, after the surgical wound. Yes. The, the healing will be delayed. Exactly. And, yes. And we have to treat, uh, to control the diabetes before the, any operations. That's very true. Uh, the second problem is once with the metabolism is impaired, there's uh, inflammation will happen inside the cells. That's why a different inflammatory material may be uh, induced and may initiate a certain inflammation inside the lid, for example. Mm -hmm. And this disturbed metabolism may be associated with uh, some leaking of from the blood vessels or even the blood, small blood vessel may be occluded. But we have to mention something. Diabetes have a major triad, which is called diabetic retinopathy, yes. diabetic nephropathy, and diabetic neuropathy, which means the diabetes affect on the three important structures, the eye, especially the retina, yes. the kidney, mm -hmm. and even the brain. Yes. And we consider the eye as the image for all of this. Mm -hmm. What we see in the blood vessels on the retina and what we see inside the eye is the typical what happened inside the kidney, blood vessels, and the typical what happened inside the cerebral blood vessels. Mm -hmm. so, so the eye is very important to us to be examined and to show how the stage of diabetes happened. Yes, it tells us what other organs what happens in the other yes. organs as well. Yes. So back to the eye and back to the effects of the, uh, of the diabetes on the, on the eye. We've uh, stopped by on the, at the stage of, um, of glaucoma where the glaucoma could cause 
uh, a major problem if we do not interfere uh, as early as, uh, as we could. And we might need to do an operation to shift the fluid together with the outside. pressure outside the eye to decrease the problem. What else do we have as a problem? We have it, uh, something is very easy for the patients or something maybe noticed and maybe past unnoticed, which the patient may have some blurred vision for some times in the day and later on become clear. Mm -hmm. And we don't know mm -hmm. what's happened. I can't see now, but after one hour or even two hours, he becomes see. What's happened is just only the blood glucose level is fluctuating inside the blood. Yes. Yes. And at the same time, the refraction of his eye is changed by this blood glucose level. At the time of the change? Yes. How, how, is, the, how is that? What's the link? It's something is, is called is the, the glucose when it's high. Yes. in the blood, uh -huh. it will be high inside the eye mm -hmm. and will shift the fluid uh, from the eye to the lens, which is very critical, which is very important for seeing. Yes, which making the lens more swollen. More swollen, and this yes, may change the refraction. Inside. That's yes. where we focus inside in, in front of the retina instead of the focus on the retina. Yes. And the opposite will happen with be hypoglycemic. The lens will be very thin. That will be focused the image behind the retina, and the same will be blurred. That's mm -hmm. why when the diabetic patient come to my clinic and ask for the uh, glasses prescription, I do the him the glasses, but I ask him at the same time to check the blood glucose level once he go outside my clinic. Mm -hmm. If he's the blood glucose level high, uh, on control, don't do the, the, glasses. the glasses. You have to wait until the control diabetes and go back to me and we'll do another glasses for him. That's very important because many of the people who would go and do the glasses, they, they, after wearing them for some time, they tell you I'm not really uh, satisfied or yes, not happy with I the, can with see the new glasses. these new glasses. Yes. And I have to change it and go to another doctor and change the glasses. And at the same time, I can't see that now. And probably they have some, some incidence of diabetes and they don't know yet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. This, this is the one, one of the, uh, the problems that happen with diabetes. Yes. There's another, another problem is called the uveitis or even iridocyclitis. Yes. This is iridocyclitis is inflammation from the middle layers of from the inside the eye. Mm -hmm. This is the layer is mainly vascular and the blood vessels inside it is very important to nourish the retina and nourish the different structures inside the eye. Mm -hmm. But once it's inflamed by diabetes, it starts to leak. But it's leak fluid and it leaks some inflammatory materials which induce some inflammation inside the eye. And this inflammation associated with pain, associated with the drop of vision and the red eye. A red eye as yes. well. Yes. Yes. And it's just the only the, the complaint, the patients just, I have a drop of vision, I have a drop, I have a red eye. Uh, can, I g can you give me just decongestant or some medication? But the problem is not just a red eye. This mm. is uh, what's called the inflamed eye. Yes. And you have to treat it very well associated with the uh, treatment or control the diabetes. Mm -hmm. That's very interesting because, uh, as you said, somebody would think, this is just uh, a dust came into my eyes, and even if it, if, if it uh, recurs or happens more, more often, they wouldn't really think that it might be linked to the, uh, to the diabetes. So yes. Yeah, yeah so this is one of the very interesting uh, uh, notes that we have to yes. give to our That's viewers. why any patient would have a red eye, you have to, uh, to, have to, to consult from the ophthalmologist, mm -hmm. not pass and notice, and even take another drugs. Because sometimes the, if you go to the pharmacy and will give him decongestant, sometimes give him a certain eye drops contain the steroids. Mm -hmm. It's harmful to the eye. You cannot continue on the steroid for a long time. Be this will initiate cataract or even initiate glaucoma. Ah, yes. So, yes, some, so some it's people better just, yes. not to ask the pharmacy to <laughs> take a drug. Yes, this is a very common practice, unfortunately, yes. 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 So, yes, this is very important. So, this brings me to the, uh, the, the retina, as you mentioned earlier, which is the, the most uh, important uh, structure that's affected by the uh, diabetes. And one of the major complication of diabetes. And one of the major complications, the retinopathy, as you've yes. mentioned earlier. Yes. So uh, tell us about the retina, what does it do, and how is it affected by the diabetes? As we mentioned, the retina is very transparent and delicate structures. It's responsible for transmission or initiation of the image mm -hmm. to be transmitted through the optic nerve to the brain. Yes. If the retina is affected, start the vision will be affected, mm -hmm. and the patient will complain. Mm -hmm. The problem what we have in diabetes, if, if it's uncontrolled, the, some change will happen in the blood vessels of knowledge the retina. 
and this blood vessel may leak or even may closed. Once it clo uh, leaked or closed, the change happen inside the retina will affect the vision and start the patient to complain and may progress to degree that will induce marked drop of vision and the patient may lose the vision. Mm -hmm. And this what's happened in the retina, it's similar to what's happened as we mentioned before to the kidney blood vessels and to the cerebral blood vessels. So may have the patient may have a stroke at the same time. Stroke. And some patient yes. may have a renal failure mm -hmm. associated with diabetic retinopathy. Mm -hmm. And even the renal failure may progress the diabetic changes. Mm -hmm. and we, we pass from one stage to the advanced stage. Yes. So the diabetes is a complications, multiple the complications, but at the same time is a chronic disease. Yes. We have to respect the disease in order the disease respect the human being. Yes. We should probably have one of the uh, episodes, later episodes about the retina because um, of course, we're it's running out of time. It's, it's, it's a big problem, and uh, it's a serious problem if yes. we do have all these problems with the, or complications that you've mentioned. But um, I needed to give s the, some advice to our viewers, uh, those who suffer from diabetes, and um, uh, even those who do not have complications uh, in their eyes, uh, how, to, how to, m to, to protect themselves from developing eye problems with the diabetes. At the first, once we have the diabetes, you have to go to the endocrinologist and to control your diabetes. Yes. Not depend on you, just only you take the treatment or you take the medications. Mm -hmm. Because if you take the medication, make me even not to use a very good control for mm -hmm. diabetes. You mm -hmm. have to follow up this uh, treatment and to see if it is, is a good control and within normal range or still it's a high level. Yes. Once we in the normal range, we have also to, as, to respect another part of the body. For example, we have the same to consult the nephrologist, yes. uh, in all the uh, ophthalmologist, yes. to see what's happened in the different structures or different parts of the body in, in association to this diabetes. Uh -huh. So I prefer every patient who have a diabetes to consult the ophthalmologist, yes. even every six months. Six months. Yes, that's a good good yeah. timing. And it's very yeah, unless you have a certain complication. Once Course. you have a certain complication, may make make it is more easier than about every two months. Exactly. Okay, uh, every six months we do everything for him. I said test the vision, mm -hmm. uh, test the intraocular pressure, mm -hmm. and even we test even the retina to see if there's any complication or not. Yes. So, um, uh, what uh, medication or vitamins or anything that would uh, enhance the uh, health of the eye to, to combat the effects of the uh, of diabetes? No. Vitamins or something The vitamins like depend on the endocrinologist, which gave me the doctor of the endocrinologist, not me. Uh, but uh, there is no certain vitamins will help the diabetes or to stop the diabetic complications no. on, in the eye. Yes. But the main is as you diagnose early, it will better for, for treatment and will prevent the complications. That's true, that's true. Dr. Tamir Fahmi, thank you very much for the uh, uh, information you gave us today. Uh, I'm sure our diabetic patients, as well as the non-diabetic, have really uh, benefited from the, uh, from the episode today. Uh, thank you very much again. Dear brothers and sisters, um, we've enjoyed having you with us. I hope that you enjoyed the program today. Please write to us. Our email is health at huda.tv and our Facebook is facebook.com slash health.huda.tv and our, e our website is huda.tv. Until next episode, inshallah, I wish you a happy and a healthy life. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh.